I'm gonna get you two for a second. Okay, so we're moving my toolbox. I have a, I have a Mr. Big, and uh, it's the only toolbox that really be in a shop, and it's falling through the trailer floor. Went in great, not coming out too great. So we're gonna hook it up to a truck and uh, I'll replace part of the floor later. Okay, we got it out. I may have a soft spot now. <laughs> eh, barely cut through it. it. Ain't real bad. It bounced back up pretty good. It was just all the weight was on that one spot. Like the, the all three casters were off the ground. <clears throat> all right, got it in. That was exciting. Did you hear all the crunching? I had to put it in four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did a burnout. Chris did the first burnout in the shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chris loves being on YouTube. That was scary. Chris, Chris, uh, Chris pulled us in with the golf cart. Pulled me in. Second. Second time. Yeah, we paused a little early on the last on the first try. <clears throat> but the second try, he just we got it in there, no problem. But it was a lot more on the E track. It was more on the left. And now they got centered up, it just crushed everything. <laughs> the neighbor comes over and goes, you guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to eat. This is like the breakup season in Alaska where everything is thawing and melting and cracking and falling apart. Yeah, but is it is the potholes because of all the stuff they treat the road with? No, it's the <laughs> refreezing of liquid in the holes. Why do they seem deeper then? Because they get bigger. That's what she said. That's See, mine. You want to do a QA? So we getting done today? Nothing. I had barbecue for lunch. Kansas City barbecue, which we all know. Some of the best in the country. And now I'm chasing it up with a chocolate milkshake. And now he thinks I'm gonna go to work. I'm pregnant. So we're winding down. We got four days to be moved. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, three and a half. Do we still have a lot to do? <laughs> yeah. Is it going great? Absolutely. We're just enjoying our time. 
So we got new shop. I've already got my first dyno tune done. I'm digging the dyno in the ground. Jeep Wrangler. I don't do a lot of Mopars, but that one went really well. And then we got the four post lift working. I got the two post lift working. Right, Security so systems cool. going in the shop. The front office is kind of laid out for the most part. Yep. I got cleaned up a little bit. It was looking so good, and then all this paperwork I moved her from the other building just kind of filled it up. So I got to move all that stuff somewhere else. But so far, operation 50 pounds in a two pound bag is working well. Wow. I'm really anxious to move the car over and get started. Yeah. We shouldn't have eye rolled. I'm ready for her to be done. I'm just ready. I'm not ready for the, for the continuous night of you not being home. That's yeah. my least favorite part. Call me selfish, call me needy. I don't really care. I like being with my man. My man. My man, man. <laughs> Name the movie. Ah, oh, Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, I was like on the tip of my tongue. I'm like, oh my god, what is it? <laughs> Wreck It Ralph is a favorite in our house. The classic. I love that movie. She doesn't like the second one, though. The second one's not as great. Paul. <laughs> These aren't as bad. It's when we get closer to the new shop that we'll get our stuff You know, off. you would think that I would like the second one better, though, because it has to do with racing and, you know, all that stuff. But no, yeah. Well, the first one feels more racing than the second one. The second one, what's the It's about name? rebuilding, it, getting back to racing. Yeah, but it's like, Because okay. they broke the steering wheel. It's much like Yeah, but what's her name? Shay is like a racer, remember? Oh, the, on, that's right. On the internet. Oh, yeah. I got gotcha. you. First so, one's way better. Some anyway. may say you look like her. Okay, I don't have dark hair. I don't have candy in my hair. No, I meant the, the shade. The shade? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's people that say I look like a lot of shit. <laughs> or compare me to a lot of shit. I'm just me. It's Megan. Was it H? Wow. <laughs> We're in my car, so it is very. By the way, you might be asking, why do you have a giant straw in your cup? Because they tried to get me to use this straw for a milkshake. For a milkshake that wasn't really shook that well. So the Stanley came in clutch and I got a straw. So all in all, the shop moves going good. It's packing in there pretty good. Like sardines. We got the toolbox in last night. Uh -huh. We pulled it in with the golf cart. I don't know where Megan's putting the footage of us getting it out, but it crushed some of the trailer. Nothing too bad. A little repair I was doing this I don't, I I was watching from the Yukon eating my Chipotle. Oh. Yeah, we I had haven't a, even seen it yet. We had a set of casters get stuck in the uh, floor of the trailer. That's what I heard. <clears throat> and uh, it was very sunk in there. I heard Chris had to throw it in four Four wheel. Yeah, with his power stroke. And that thing was probably at 75 pounds of boost trying to move this toolbox out of the trailer. It's a fucking heavy ass toolbox. We're just happy that the toolbox made it to the shop. It is in the shop. On the side of the highway somewhere. I got a burp, I think. So gross. I know. It's yeah. a heartburn that's hit. More than all those. All right, here comes the, ri the rhythm section. <sighs> no, if you get over fast enough right, you miss most of it. Yeah, if there's no traffic. Yeah, I know. But if there is traffic, then you're fit. I mean, effed. Screwed. Screwed dude and tattooed. There's traffic. Oh, no, I got this. You got this, even though it's only 35 through here. He does not got this. I missed most of them. Missed all the rough ones. Anyways, so I'm getting a water burger by the new shop. Makes me kind of excited. Yeah, then you're really never gonna be home. You have a race car and a water burger. You'll be happy as a clam. Mm. Mm. If they had my dang chicken fajita tacos, I'd really be excited. Maybe if you become famous like Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he 
I feel like brought Whataburger up here. So maybe if you become that famous, I need you'll have to listen. I need help. But while we're at it, can we also get the bacon, egg, and cheese bagels back from McDonald's, please? <laughs> <laughs> So here's our two requests. The <laughs> restaurant's already established. We just need you to add these items yeah. back to your menus. And that is the bagels at McDonald's. Yeah, so if you know anyone <laughs> who works at a McDonald's franchise or corporation, tag them below. I'd love to discuss this with them. I mean, there are millions of women that would love to have bagels back. Um, they have a whole Facebook group. To bring the bagels back no of like places where they do have bagels and oh. stuff so like from now on anytime we travel i'm gonna be able to ask in that group if there's any in that location <sighs> is this like getting old as all uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> we fell right into my ice cream that was funny <laughs> wipe you off there we go can i do the courtesy Lick wipe it. no i don't want to smear it like I did your windows the other day. We got yeah, the Yukon watch. You're not gonna ruin. I mean, did you see this back right one? Uh -uh. From your son? Uh uh. Yeah, he likes to draw pictures with his fingers. So I've missed his turn six or seven times in the last three days. I wonder if that nail salon's any good. I don't know. I probably won't find out. Ugh. New shop. So cute. It's probably back in. Oh, because of the load we got? Because the load I got? Yeah, alright. So I'll try it back in. Bom, bom, bom. You can try and back in. You have a fucking camera. If you can't back in with the camera, you're a dipshit. Again. Speaking of dipshit, I was Why a dipshit. So I was mean. a dipshit the other day. You should see me backing in at Isaiah's school. I look like such a dick. <laughs> So we're getting fuller. We got some security stuff going in, my paperwork. I gotta do some wire management, but I'm kind of liking what we got going on. So we got some of our security camera stuff up and we're getting more up. And then I think I'm gonna put the security camera TV over here and then put a feed from the dyno over. And then let's see, I got a rug in. I did some self leveler, never did self leveler before but mixed up about 16 bags self leveler to get us to roll around in there one light switch to rule them all and this is our very full shop right now i still got about well this is probably about three loads worth of stuff from the enclosed not packing it in super tight we probably got like two more of these to go and then we got two cars to bring over So I got, I got some wall space over here. I'm gonna fill up here soon. Some creative shelving. Um, I've been living off these things like mad. And then over here we have the dyno, which I got stuff scattered around because we brought in several loads of stuff last night. And then we rolled the toolbox in and yeah, I just had to move some stuff out of the way because I had a bunch of stuff over here. So we got all that moved out of the way. <clears throat> but I got to, like I said, I got to use the dyno recently and really liked it in the ground. It was kind of nice. Didn't have to go up and down stairs two, three times for each vehicle. So that was pretty cool. And then this TV is just a little too big, a little too close. So I'm going to take that down, move it, maybe put it this way and then maybe put a normal computer screen here again because this, this is a little a little obnoxious oh goodness but we got i got some shelving up and then it's gonna be like a little city underneath that has like some work tables and things and as eric put it it's gonna be like playing tetris in here on different projects and things and that's okay I will say it stays nice and warm, which has been nice because we've been in the negatives a lot lately. And in the summertime, we get 90 to 105 degree weather quite a bit. So we have AC, so that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm pretty, uh, pretty pumped still. And I like that 
I can get from one side to the other of the shop really quickly in case I forget a tool or I need another tool. It's not that far away. So we are having at it. It's working. It's working out. So got a little bit of electrical to finish up. Got some more stuff to put up. Got some shelving to build. Got some paperwork to organize in our hideaway above the shop. All about getting creative and building vertical. Going vertical. Look like I reach everything. Yeah, like, <laughs> like everything I can reach. So, huh. But this is where we're at. It's working out pretty good. Pretty excited. Three and a half more days. I should have done a walk around the other shop. It, there, there's just still some stuff in there, but it's getting thinner every day. So, all right. We'll probably check back in here in a little bit. See you guys.